In this example, we'll add functionality to an audio DSP system to include assistive listening, overflow rooms, and audio source selection. We'll start with Mirror Connect paired to a room with an audio DSP. Select Edit for the DSP equipment and select the audio controls and scroll down. In many installs, there's a need for an assistive listening audio output to feed an inductive loop system or another system for hearing assistance for participants in the room. As part of the DSP system's design file, there would be an output to an assistive listening system in a mute control point that Mirror Connect would control. For this example, let's select the assistive listening audio controls area and select the mute control point associated with an assistive listening audio output. Once we have selected the control point, we can select Update Equipment. Now when we look at the Mirror Connect, we see that the user interface is automatically updated to include the Who Can Hear Me icon, which expands to show an assistive listening channel that we can control. When enabled, you'll see the count of the number of channels that can hear you. The count is provided because this user interface is also used with the overflow rooms. When the assistive listening channel is muted, the Who Can Hear Me icon will appear red, indicating that no audio is sent to the assistive listening system. In installs where you need to send audio from one room to another to accommodate overflow rooms for additional participants, such as for a company meeting or lobby area, the DSP audio configuration can include an audio feed to one or more overflow rooms. In Mirror Portal, you enter the overflow mute control point so that Mirror Connect can control whether audio is sent to the other rooms. To configure this, we'll edit the equipment. We'll go to Audio Control, and we'll scroll to the Overflow Room area and expand that. We'll click Add to add an Overflow Room and Control Point. And if we have multiple rooms to support, we can enter more control points by hitting Add and entering the information. When done, click Update Equipment. On Mirror Connect, we'll see the Who Can Hear Me Now entry on the lower right with entries for overflow rooms with a mute toggle. Press the toggle to mute or unmute as necessary. The count in the icon shows the number of rooms or assistive listening feeds that can hear the local participants in the room. Muting all the audio feeds will reset the count and show the muted Who Can Hear Me icon. If you have multiple audio sources that you'd like to switch between with a source selector, for example, selecting which source to play into a room, you can create a source selection menu in Mirror Connect easily by adding mute control points associated with multiple audio sources into Mirror Portal. The DSP configuration file requires mute points for the different audio channels that can be controlled by Mirror Connect. To start, we'll edit the equipment. We'll select Audio Control and scroll to the Audio Input section. We'll expand that line. Add to add the first channel. Select an icon to be associated with the input on Mirror Connect, and add a label and optional description. We can add additional inputs by selecting Add, select the control point, select an icon, enter a label, And we can enter another one to help us clear the other two entries. And when done, we'll select Update Equipment. On Mirror Connect, we see there's an audio source menu now. And selecting the audio source will show the audio selection menus. And one of these sources may be active at a time. As we select one, it'll select that audio. And then with the optional Clear Selection, we can clear the other mute points, and no audio would be selected. We've shown how we can take advantage of advanced functionality with an audio DSP by simply selecting control points for assistive listening, overflow rooms, and an audio source selector.